Hi guys, it's Danielle from Blissful Domestic and today I have a quick kitchen tour for you. Um, if you guys have been following me on Instagram, you guys may be able to see that we finally made our move to Arizona and quite a few of you guys were asking about a tour of different parts of our apartment. Um, and so I'm going to kind of, in different videos, I will share that and also I will have a full blog post linked below for you guys to read as well. Um, so everything that we have in the kitchen, this is what we already had. I didn't, I think I purchased two tubs from the dollar store. Um, the whole point of living in an apartment is so that we can save money, so that we can purchase a home here in Tucson. Um, we chose not to purchase right away so that we can kind of get the lay of the land and figure out a new city and stuff like that. So we chose to live in an apartment, we're saving money. And so going with that means not spending a whole lot on decor and stuff like that. So we're trying to live super simple the next year, um, again, just to save money. So I'll take you guys on a tour and kind of show you how we've organized stuff. Um, we are in a two bedroom apartment. It's about 890 square feet and there's five of us here. Um, of course, baby Talia is little and does not take up a lot of space. Um, but so I'll flip the camera around and show you how everything's organized. All right, so for the tour, I'm gonna start over here by the cabinets. So, excuse me, so in this apartment, I feel like we have a really large kitchen, which is really nice. You have the cabinets there. Um, we have space for our freezer chest. We'll kind of do a little handing around here. Um, we actually have our computer here. And then on this side of the kitchen, we have all of our food storage and stuff. And then of course our fridge. And so that kind of takes us all the way around the kitchen. Um, we do have a closet, which I will show you in the hallway. That actually I think is supposed to be a linen closet. We're using it as a pantry for like more snack items and baking items. But so we'll start, um, I guess I'll start with this wall. So we did, this is the silver um, shelving unit that we actually had in our old house. Um, we used to have it by our washer and it held all of our canned goods. Um, in our other house, we also had this big pantry that my husband had built. And so when we started unpacking, my first thought was I'm gonna have to buy another one of these silver shelving units. I didn't know how everything was gonna fit. And I think because we made such an effort to go through food storage um, before we left, and then just by being creative, we were able to keep it down to one shelving unit. And that was just where I need to remind myself to just be content with what we had and be creative with the organization. Um, and so by doing that, we basically saved ourselves 60 bucks because I think that's what we paid for this shelving unit. So just again, reminding myself what our goals were for this year and that we didn't want to have to purchase anything extra. So at the very top, we have the food processor, the food, uh, the bread machine, and our large pressure canner to can foods. Um, these actually do not fit in the cabinet, so that's why I had to make sure that they had a space on the shelving unit. Here we have all of our dried goods. If you guys remember what my kitchen looked like in the um, uh, Henderson house, all these were on a silver shelf, and so we just have them here. We definitely have less. Um, as we used up seasonings, I took them out of the mason jars, and we'll probably just start buying smaller ones just because we don't have the space that I did in our Henderson house. And then, of course, I have just a colander with our potatoes, sweet potatoes, and onions. The next shelf, we have all of our canned salsa, canned vegetables, tomato sauce, and tuna. And then down here you can see more canned vegetables, canned soups, canned fruits on the bottom. And then here we just have our aprons. Well, not our, my aprons hung. And then over here are all of our number 10 cans that we have. Um, we get those at the LDS Cannery. I'll link them below. They're a great resource to be able to get food storage and stuff like that. I actually plan to go fairly soon and I'll make sure I do a haul and like a video to tell you guys more about it. It's a great way to be able to get lots of pantry staples at reasonable prices. So then going over here, the fridge was already here. And so just on top of the fridge, we have our oats, whole wheat flour, and spaghetti. And in that white basket, we have um, all of our plastic bags and stuff like that. The cabinet above there, behind the white basket and stuff, it has extra snacks, so like chips um, and some pudding cups, things that we're putting out of sight, out of mind. Um, I've only done two grocery, two or three, um, grocery trips since I've been here, but they've been small trips. I have not done anything large where I've filmed it or anything like that. But once we kind of get into a groove here, we'll start doing that again. Um, I hung up the knife 
board magnetic strip thing that we had at the other house. So that's up here. Um, and these cabinets, let's see if I can open them. So on one side, we have all the medicine and vitamins, and on the other side, I have all my candle warmer cubes or wax, and I have aluminum foil and plastic wrap. Um, I love cabinets above the stove where you can keep your medicine so it's out of reach from kids and stuff like that, and so it just keeps it safe. Well, you're a lot older. You're 11. <laughs> all right, over here in this cabinet, so we have our seasonings, and then I did more of the oils and things like that, or honey, salt and pepper, <coughs> excuse me, flashlight and meat thermometer, and then of course my chapstick, because if you know anything about me, I love chapstick, so I have to have it everywhere. Yeah. In this cabinet, we have our bowls, plates, and some baking items up there, and actually this little teapot was actually my great grandmother's and so my grandmother gave it to me and I didn't really have anywhere to put it so I put it in here so that it stays safe until we have a place to display it. So over here these cabinets are really I guess deep they go really far in and I wasn't really sure what to use with that space and we had all these mason jars that we use for canning so on each shelf we have mason jars going all the way back so that when I do can I have them there but right now they're stored away. So we have bowls and then some baking dishes. Here we have just our glass um, jars with flour, sugar, and the one with the bicycle on it. When I bake cookies eventually it's a cookie jar. It'll have cookies in it and our cutting boards. Because we don't have a lot of cabinet space I wanted to make sure that anything that was going to be left out are things that we use all pretty, pretty much daily. So you know we have a bowl with butter, our bananas, um, I just used a tack to hang the um, silicone oven mitts with the candle warmer out. Again, my jars are cutting boards. And there I just hung a tack that has the oven mitts on it. I only have two oven mitts, just again, keeping it simple. You really don't need more than two, and so that's just that's what we have. And then, of course, the kitchen egg mixer, which I honestly use this multiple times during the week. Um, in this small cabinet, we did our cups and water bottles things like that. Hopefully you guys can see it. I feel like it's getting, the lighting is getting kind of dark. Okay. So now down below, so if you guys know, again, my kitchen that was in Henderson, I didn't have drawers. And so this is kind of fun to have drawers. So we just have, and each one has all of the utensils. And my other kitchen, I had like a big jar next to the stove. But so we were able to use drawers. Um, and then over here we just have um, measuring cups and things like that. Down below, down there I have all my pots and pans, rice cooker, griddle, um, my pretzel maker, things like that. This one has the magic bullet, all the attachments, um, what else, um, my immersion blender and stuff like that. Underneath the kitchen sink, to get creative with all of our cleaning products, you can see we have our Clorox wipes we use for the bathroom. Um, we have our vinegar cleaner, um, extra grocery bags that we use for cleaning up the litter box or for the bathroom trash. We have lots of cleaning rags. Um, the drying racks, we do not have a dishwasher, so we need the drying racks to clean dishes. And in the back, I have extra cleaning stuff. Um, and so that's what's in there. The fire extinguisher was already in there, so that's just a nice thing to have. Um, that came with the apartment. Over here in this drawer, we just have our our cleaning towels and I guess a screwdriver that my husband put in there. And then down here we have Tupperware and our toaster. Since again we don't have a lot of counter space, the toaster is being put away so that just when we want to do toast we just pull it out. And then that has all our Tupperware. Um, over here of course we have our trash can and this is real life so our trash is full. I was going to have Keegan take it out before but I said you know what let's be real. And he's having tech time right now. Um, over here we have our freezer chest. I mentioned before I was so excited that we were going to have enough space to bring our freezer chest. We have not started filling that up yet. I just have a few things in there like a gallon of milk and some frozen vegetables. But once I start gearing, <clears throat> excuse me, gearing up for shopping um, in September I plan to do once a month shopping. Hopefully that's the plan um, or at least a big two week, two two week trips. Um, I will get make sure I film those and we'll be able to start filling up that freezer. Uh, we have our litter box the cat food, and of course the microwave, cookbooks, and then what we've done is that we just have one of these little caddies, I had this in the other house as well, that we got from Target on clearance a few years ago, and that holds all of our plastic utensils and regular utensils, and then what we did just because to save money, we um, 
did a smaller U-Haul, so we did not bring the awesome table that my husband built. We just brought a folding table and some folding chairs. That's what we'll be using for the next year. Again, not the prettiest thing, but because we were trying to keep it simple and cut costs down on the move, we chose to leave those in our old house because we kept our old house um, and stuff like that. And so we were able to leave it there and we'll come back and get it once we have a new house. And so of course we have our cute little bouncer. And then I think that gives you guys the full tour of the kitchen. So again, I'll link the blog post below that kind of shares a little bit more. I'll have some pictures and things like that. But I'm really happy with the way the kitchen came out. And we've kind of been living in it for the past week so I can kind of see where I wanted things. And so far, I really like the way it's organized. I'm sure I'll change it up a little bit as time goes on. But so this is our, oh, I forgot to show you the pantry. Um, so here's the pantry in the hallway and it just slides open. And you can see we have baking stuff on top, cereal, breakfast things. I'm in the green tub that I got from the dollar store. It has protein bars in it and stuff like that. And actually, if you guys like protein bars, which I do, um, Premier Protein. We have these at Costco and they are quite delicious. Um, I love them. They're great snacks, especially with nursing and stuff like that. Um, down below we have um, a lot of the dry goods pastas and then of course snacks on the bottom. I have vinegar, extra um, lunch boxes and our extra mason jars. So this is again our kitchen. Um, let me know how you guys are doing. Let me know how you guys are organizing your kitchen. I love um, just hearing new ideas and stuff like that. And if you're new to this channel, hit that button and subscribe.